I am back. Uh, it's been a few days since I went to the doll show and I'm finally able to share with you some of the beautiful things I got. And um, I'm going to go ahead and start with my first one. I got this beautiful Tonner doll here. Um, this is the Tyler Wentworth doll. Now, I bought just the doll uh, in her swimsuit initially. And, whoops. And then I went ahead and purchased some clothes from another vendor who had a ton of toner, toner, uh, Tyler Wentworth clothes. So I went ahead and put her, she came with the swimsuit, the black skirt, and then that particular vendor also included a pattern for some beautiful dresses to go with um, her. They're designed for the Tyler Wentworth collection, as you can see. Um, I don't know if I'll be using that, we'll see. Anyway, she needs to be cleaned up a little bit. She's got a little bit of muck on her. She herself, the doll, was only $35, which I thought was pretty good. Her hair was up in a weird puff thing and I decided to fix it to the side. <laughs> it's kind of a mess in the back, so don't look too close. But I fixed it to the side and this beautiful coat with feathers came with this lovely hat that my cats discovered had feathers. So now she has to, to hide in a cupboard for right now until I can figure out a safer way of displaying her. Um, we'll see. But I just felt like she was gorgeous. I actually went to the doll show hoping to find her uh, or something like her. Uh, she's much taller than a Barbie. I'll be honest, I don't know the height difference. I don't, um, I, I should know that, but I don't. She is much taller. Her feet are bigger. Everything about her is bigger. She is, uh, in scale anyway. She is articulated in the knees, but not really great. I mean, she can sit, she can sit, but uh, her arms are not articulated. And I know that there are some Tyler Wentworth dolls eventually that came articulated in the elbows, but she is not, and I'm okay with that. Uh, and then the earrings I bought, they came with these gold shoes, another piece, separate little baggie that the per this other vendor was selling, lots of Tyler Wentworth clothes and shoes, and it came with the gold shoes, this random gold chain that I don't know what it's for, but I just decided to hook it to the coat. And then, um, oh, looks like I lost a jewel and then the earrings. Now, she didn't really have officially pierced ears when I got her. There were like little scratch marks where ear piercings could go. So I just helped those marks out a little bit and gave them piercings because I just thought the girl needs some bling. And I'm seeing now as I am showing you her, this beautiful jewel has fallen out of her button. You can see this jewel here is supposed to go in her button and it fell out. So that's something I will have to fix uh, with some glue. So it goes in like that. You can see the buttons on the coat. And that's really blown out. And then there's also a similar design on the hat, only it's in silver and red. But Anyway, so this is Tyler Wentworth. I'm definitely going to name her something different. Uh, I think you can do that with these kinds of dolls. I don't know if there's any kind of special doll protocol. I just think she's pretty. I thought she looked a little bit like Lauren Bacall, one of the kind of a black and white actress frequently appearing with Humphrey Bogart, eventually married Humphrey Bogart. Um, she was quite a bit younger than him. But anyway, kind of thinking something along those lines. Maybe I'll look up some Lauren Bacall characters. Uh, and go for that but okay so I can't buy a whole new doll line and not get her more clothes so we've got this lovely beautiful fur lined uh, edged coat with this red shimmer lining and then I will show you all the beautiful things that she has I also got another wooden doll 
cupboard, which I don't actually have here with me, um, but I got that to make a closet for her stuff and that was only five bucks. So I was pretty excited about that. Let's look at the other clothes. So we got um, for a more formal um, evening out, I got this beautiful red and you can see the ring, the ring light. Yay, that's great. This red, I'm sorry, black lace dress. It has little flower lace and a bow. It's still attached like to the packaging. So I don't know. And I didn't pay full price. If you see price stickers on these, it's not what I paid. The lady gave me a really good deal because I'm all about a really good deal. So don't, don't freak out. Okay, and then the next one I got, which I just, I had to have, and I, it's part of a larger um, collection outfit. It has um, this beautiful fur hoodie sweater, but it's supposed to go with a, a coordinating skirt of the same material, and then I think a, a little sleeveless shirt underneath, but the seller didn't have that. So I bought this. She's got to have a nice sweater. And then, of course, going with that whole theme of sweaters, um, the lady had a lot of sweaters. I got her a lovely red sweater that is super soft and it has snaps in the back here, so I don't have to go over her head. And uh, it, it too is still in package, so I don't know. That's bad of me to cut it off and use it, but I, I wanna use it because I think it's fun. And I'm kind of wondering if some of these might fit my Blythe's as kind of a really large slouchy type uh, outfit. So that's the red sweater. And then I'm telling you guys, I kind of went a little nuts. It's kind of embarrassing in a way. So uh, I wanted her to have more for the red sweater. So we got these really pretty orange pants these were loose in a bag so and with that the lady was selling this with it I think it's the suit so she can wear this together and I forgot actually it's not the red sweater that goes with this I she also had this really cute crop top uh, that kind of coordinated I thought pretty nicely it's this lovely crop top. It's got more of an orange, red, yellow, and I just thought that looked that looked pretty good like that. She can be in style. And I'll definitely wear her gold heels with this for sure. But so there's that. And then um, she had a bunch of baggies of just loose shoes. So we've got these really fun black and I guess snake print so black and snake print heels that just fit her great so I initially had her in these but my daughter's like ah those don't match so we switched to gold it's all about the bling of the gold and then oh I did get her some underwear <laughs> My thing was doll underwear, but they had underwear, so I bought her a pair because she didn't have any. She only has a swimsuit, which I think is what she came in. It's like her original. It wasn't her full set. I guess this doll came in a swimsuit, and it came with, I think, a skirt, which she has. All right, some other shoes. We have blue heels, light blue heels, and then these really cute black and white kind of sandal heels. And it's kind of funny because, you know, I'm kind of in the... Blythe world right now where you buy the Converse and the cute boots and the slouchy sweatshirts. So I'm like, do they have any, you know, any tennis shoes or casual shoes for these dolls? And the lady is just, have you seen it now with those feet? I was like, well, they have wedge, wedge shoes, wedge tennies, but nope, they didn't have any. I also got this black sweater with uh, another fur, lots of faux fur going on here, which, you know, I don't mind, I love faux fur. But these will go really nice. This sweater with her black, um, sorry, I'm blowing it out a bunch here, 
with her black skirt that she's got on and then these nice heels. So I feel like that would look really, really good. But we are really struggling with the lighting here. All right, so I'm loving that. That actually would look really good with this too. I mean, the black and the red and the orange. I think that looks really good. But, okay, so there was another funny thing. <laughs> when I first bought the doll, before I had picked her up, I was at another booth where someone was selling this really cute hoodie. And I was like, oh, I want this hoodie. It'll be so cute, maybe with my blides or pull-ups, even though the hood wouldn't obviously work. And so I'm holding the hoodie and I go pick up um, her and was showing her the hoodie. And I was like, oh, I even got a hoodie for her already. And the lady just kind of froze and was like, I think that's for Ken. Yeah, that's for Ken. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, I think it'll fit her. And girls got to have a hoodie for casual Saturday. But it was just funny to me. I've, I've never been to a doll show and I, I don't know if there's an etiquette on what what level of doll goes with what clothing and the faux pas of putting a Ken hoodie on a fashion doll. I don't know, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. It just was funny that I felt like I had committed some sin of mentioning a Ken hoodie on a Tyler Wentworth. But yeah, we'll see. It's, it's, it's all about the fun, the fun of dolls. And it, I don't think she had a problem with it ultimately, but I think I, I caught her off guard at least. All right, so then I have this really fun, bright skirt that came with, um, it came with some boots that I really honestly don't know how these boots are gonna do. They, I couldn't get them on her feet. I don't know how you get them on. I, I Most shoes now have a slit here uh, and that allows you to put it on better. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Maybe there's a YouTube video. And then it came with this little halter top and this fun purse. Um, but uh, it's kind of funny. It doesn't open. Like the purse doesn't open. So I don't understand why. I might actually break the stitching to open it because pay all this money for a fancy everything and the bag doesn't open. So we will explore that. It also came with this band like a belt that goes around like that maybe it goes anyway it was all in the same bag I really don't know what the design was for that learn as we go okay I think that's everything for Miss Lauren Bacall um, and all of her lovely fashion Oh, wait, I did get this necklace. This lady had all these little tiny trinkety things for like a dollar, 50 cents. Unfortunately, this is a little too small for her neck. She's got a pretty good size neck on her. So this just really didn't fit. I tried, but it didn't fit. So this might go on um, one of my pull-ups or my blithes. Uh, it definitely will fit one of them. Actually, it might be too big. I use earrings for them as necklaces, little hoop earrings. So, all right. Um, before I put all of the um, toner, toner stuff away, I did get one other toner doll and I got her for my mom. Um, this is Susan from uh, Chronicles of Narnia. My mom adores those books so much. And so she's not a big doll person, but I decided that I just couldn't, couldn't get this doll out of my head as I shopped around. I kept thinking about her and she's got these beautiful little shoes and this really sweet skirt that's this wool plaid that's lined. And uh, she's got a little button up undershirt and a cardigan. And then her face, of course, is designed after the actress uh, who was in the Chronicles of Narnia many years ago. But I feel like she just looks so real and I wanted to get something for my mom. So she has Susan and yeah, so that's a toner also, but or toner, sorry, I keep calling them toner, but the size difference is actually fairly significant. Um, 
don't know if you can see, I mean, the head is, is massive. She has a massive head in comparison to, uh, to my Lauren doll here. You can see the head difference, very different lengthwise. So if you line up their heads, the feet here, I mean, it's just the size of the feet. She's, she's kind of monstrous in comparison. So, um, yeah, but that's fine. I mean, it's totally fine. She is a, um, a, she's a Disney doll at this point. I guess Carnivals of Narnia was put on by Disney. So anyway, those are my Tonner dolls that I got. And I don't know that I'm going to be getting any more for now. Um, I need to get a stand for her, uh, maybe even for her, because I don't have one. Uh, so she's currently laying down. I lay her down in my desk before uh, she gets eaten, before the feathers get eaten by my lovely fluffy kitties. So.